In this demo, we'll cover the OMR routing capabilities of SciGen Sci Capture. OMR, or optical mark recognition, lets me actually look at a scanned page and read a box that has been colored in and associate a field with that box. Uh, in this demo, what I've got is a property management company that wanted to scan documents for each of their properties. So what we did is we actually created a barcode for each property. So when we scan this, it'll read the barcode, know which property it's for. And then we can check a box to designate the type of document that, that follows this routing sheet. What I've got for this demo is actually a set of three documents. And I've placed the OMR routing sheets, which also serve as separators. So now, instead of scanning each document individually, I can take the entire stack, scan it into a scanner or a scanning multifunction or copier on the network, pick it up and process it with the software. As a little added bonus in this demo, we're actually going to use uh, Microsoft SharePoint as the end repository. And what we're going to do is show off some of the features in SciGen Side Capture when we're scanning uh, and migrating into SharePoint. And what I'll do is actually in the document site here, I'll actually create um, document libraries on the fly for each of these properties and put the documents within those those document libraries. So let's go ahead and get started. To initiate the process, we'll click on Capture. When we do that to start a batch inside Capture, it'll prompt me for the types of documents I'm going to process. In this case, I'm going to do my OMR routing demo. I'm going to click Start Capture. When I do that, I get the, uh, the Start Capture dialog where I can enter some information about the, the documents or the batch that I'm scanning. And then I'll click Start. You can see that uh, as we picked up and processed this one file, we split it into three separate documents of two, six, and four pages. So every time it found one of these routing slash separator sheets, it split the document set. You can see that it automatically read the barcode. In this case, it was for Green Acres. We haven't populated the document type box yet because that happens in indexing. And then I filled in the date box with today's scan date. So let's move on to indexing. When I go to indexing, the software is actually going to uh, apply a template and look to see which box is filled in to associate a document type. So on this document, it read that this is for the Bordeaux property. It's a credit type document. And then there's our date. When I click tab, it'll go right to the next document. This is a contract. Then we have an invoice for Green Anchors. I'm showing you this for the sake of demo purposes, but I can enable auto indexing with the product. So if I do that, it'll pick up the document, automatically process it, split, fill in these fields, and then go through each of the steps that I'm going to show you after this. Now for demo purposes, I want to show you the quality assurance module. So in quality assurance, we have the capability to look both at our images. So I can come in, make sure that my images are set up correctly. I even have uh, the capability in the software to click on auto view and it'll walk me through each of the pages. I can stop the process at any time to replace the page, run image processing on it, or do a, some other type of function like delete or crop. I can come in, I can, uh, as I mentioned, run image processing. So if I wanted to deskew this document, page, or the entire set of documents, I can do that right here as well. But everything looks good. I'm going to go ahead and click Done. And now we're going to convert these documents to searchable PDFs. So uh, this is a, a process called OCR, Optical Character Recognition, where I'm going to pick up each of those images, actually process it, and convert it to a searchable document. So when I put it in SharePoint, if I'm running my crawl correctly within SharePoint, now I'll have a full, uh, fully text searchable uh, body of documentation. Okay, the final step, and actually in this step I'm doing what's called migration. I'm doing a dual migration. I'm sending these to network folders as well as sending them to SharePoint. So in the migration function, what I can do is take those fields that I've entered about the document. I can automatically create folder structures and rename the files 
based on those fields. Why is this good? Uh, now we have the capability to really standardize our whole scanning and processing function. The other thing I can do with SharePoint is I can build document libraries and columns on migration. So if I come back to SharePoint now and I refresh my page, you'll see over here in the menu under my documents site that I've got three new document libraries one for each of those properties that I scan documentation for. So if I click on Bordeaux, I've got a second tier that I've created. So not only did I create my document library, but now I actually created a folder within the document library for the type of document that was scanned. And then when I click on the folder, if my mouse works correctly, you'll see that in the folder I actually name the file by putting together the index fields so property dash document type dash date so it really gives you a nice simple way to scan documents and automatically migrate them in 